Breastfeeding exercises the baby's tongue and lips and prepares for chewing and talking later. But what happens when a mother's breast needs a little break? That is when a nook soother with its typical teat shape that suits the jaw can help. It aids baby's sucking and enables the healthy development of mouth and jaw. Thumb sucking, however, can lead to crooked teeth. Unlike a thumb, a nook soother is soft and flexible and the neck of the teat is narrow so that a baby's lips can close easily. The first orthodontic soother was developed for Nook by dentists in 1956. They shaped it in such a way as to resemble a mother's nipple during breastfeeding. To this day, the continuously optimized Nook shape resembles its natural role model. The top of the soother is rounded and fits the roof of the mouth. The underside of the soother is flat and leaves enough room for the tongue to move naturally while sucking. The neck of the teat is extra narrow, reducing the pressure of the jaw and teeth and hence the risk of crooked teeth. The soft channels in the soother increase the softness and flexibility even more. The stability contours give the soother the resistance it needs to make it even safer. Thanks to the air systems in all nook soothers, air can always escape through a vent, so the soother remains nice and flat in the mouth. Nook soothers were developed in such a way that they not only calm down children, but their mothers too. For every nook soother encourages the interplay between the jaw, palate, tongue, lips and teeth, aiding healthy all-round development. Nook soothers, promoting healthy development. Nook. Understanding life.